Hey everybody. It's another team new package. It's got a few free things and some orders. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it cut open and be right back. All right, the first item. This is the other witch that goes with the witch that was in the previous video. Yes, she comes in half as well. She's a little bit dented up and creased. Anyway, that's the top half of her. And the bottom half. This is the lantern. I'll see what I can do to strengthen that a little bit. This is the cauldron. And yes, the cauldron is crushed in a little bit, but what the heck, right? It's Halloween, who'll notice? And I really don't believe it's Tina's fault, other than the fact that it has to go through customs and then custom re customs repackages it to send to you and then I'm pretty sure that's when a lot of the damage happens all right this is one of the free items I got And of course, you know, when things are sent by whichever carrier, whether it's USPS, UPS, or FedEx, or any other delivery service, you have to deal with what they manage to do to things as well. This, I'd had this in the cart for about three and a half months. And it kept going out of stock and I kept hesitating when it came back in. So I got offered this as a free. It is a heart mold that this is for a picture to go into. And this is the stand, or this is the stand, and then this is the um, hanger base. It does have 
nib here and a nib here so that you can either put it with wire together or you can use string or whatever. That's kind of a really flimsy mold. And I'm finding that a lot of the molds are coming that way now from Timu. And if they're thick looking, they usually have thin walls at one point or another. But if you can put, say like with this base here, it is warped a little bit. So if you can put something against this edge, you might get a, an actual straight, um, wow, an actual straight edge. Set that there. I'm not sure where the lid is to this. It's supposed to have one. Guess not, who knows? Um, jack o' lantern mold. As you can tell, with as clear as the mold is, there's not much other than uh, the markings of being a pumpkin and then, of course, the jack o' lantern face. down there and I'll just grab some baggies real quick to put these into. Oh, almost out. Try to make this video as short and painless as possible for everybody. Um, it just gives a size five by one point four centimeter. sure what this one is. Um, I'll have to set these aside and look that up real quick. Oh, these are pumpkin molds, but it looks really shallow. So they're more of a flat pumpkin, I guess. I'll show you what the, um, it shows in here. That's what it's supposed to come out as.
All right. A lint roller for my husband. He has an issue sometimes when he gets home for lunch and has to go back to work where he ends up getting really covered by uh, cat fur because the cats come in and love up on him. Okay, it doesn't close very well, as you can see. And it does have tape around here. Now this is supposed to be a cleaning, or a cleanable where you wash it. So I'll be the first one to use it, but I got lots of capper up here right now, so let's find out. Wow, it does work. So it does what it's supposed to do. I'll make him wash it before he uses it. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Um, that was a free item as well. These are um, bats for Halloween. It just says mixed color. Half are glow in the dark supposedly and the other half are uh, just black bats and um, a pack of 40. And they are kind of a plastic, plastic type of situation. And they are shaped. Now I would say that's probably the end of what, what I've got coming. It's probably the end of my Halloween buys, but no, it never will be because I love Halloween. All right. Next is the replacement mold from a different seller for so that mold that came in with the claw hand and ball. So hopefully with a different seller, it doesn't have the weakness that the other one does. Nope. It's still got the weakness, so I will be siliconing up on the sides a little bit here as well on this one. And you can see right through into that one right there, just like on the other one. Okay. I'll set that down, then I'll get a baggie for it. Spiders for Halloween. These are also listed as nail charms. Ten pieces in here. Looks like the gem fell out of that one there. They're all supposed to have the red on the backs, but this one there, as you can tell, is missing its red gem. Let's see if by any chance, oh, there it is. <clears throat> so I've got some glue that'll glue that back on. 
Let's check all these others real fast. Okay, the rest are all fine. And this is supposed to be, as I said, nail charms as well. And these actually are curved like they would go on a nail. But I think you'd have to work real quick at that. Woohoo! You're going to have it either crawling up or down your nail. Whoops. <clears throat> and I'm really sorry about the froggy throat all the time, but unfortunately I do have allergies. And yes, spring is one of the worst times. However, my allergies are year round because I actually have an allergy to cats, and yet I still have them. So it's not a severe allergy. <clears throat> and I would never do without my kitties. Oh, okay, I bought four of these um, supposed pumpkin molds. I'll find the other one in a minute. Yeah, it's all four up. And then this is a pumpkin mold. And wow, is it tiny! But it's the one that's uh, got the scary little face on the front and wears a witch's hat. Let's see if I can get that up there like that. It is quite flexible. Um, however, I'm not finding, well, there's a little bit of weak spots here and there. But that's all right. Um, <clears throat> I have a habit of making molds from the most perfectly done um, <coughs> excuse me product let me get some water see if that'll help solve it I would actually take allergy pills but I can't um, the ones that I can take with my uh, high blood pressure well, they don't quite um, work. And this is another warm string light for the one pumpkin mold I have not been able to get. Actually, if I remember right, it was showing it was supposed to go to this. I think that's a lot of lights to stick in that pumpkin, but okay. I'll go with it, I guess. Okay, this is quite small. They are, um, it's a, it is an earring mold. I don't want to cut it. I'm afraid I'm going to cut the mold itself. Oh, goody, now I have hiccups again. And this is a pair of bloody hands. Let's see if I can get some of this, shot, this light off. 
There we go. So that's going to go and be done at the same time I'm doing all the other small uh, Halloween items. Oh my goodness. There we go. What a pain in the derriere. Okay. Um, then I have a pair of jewelry pliers here. Uh, this is the pair I didn't have with the other three. And you will have to squeeze them to get it out of here. Okay, I'm not dealing with that too much. After all, there's nothing on it really to cut except the sleeves on it. And this is for straightening wire. If you get wire that's kind of wonky coiled. Okay. Oh boy, am I disappointed with that. Another lotus candle holder. Wow, that's gonna have to straighten out like crazy. I'll just have to leave it out, kind of like that. Slightly cover it. And try to get it back in shape. And, of course, more yarn so I can go ahead and do that sweater. I got both. Well, I got two more packs of each color. So I got the milky white in the last video. This is the um, white white. And this is called khaki white. Okay, get those set aside. I'll just stick them up this way. Almost done. And another pillow cover. There's something like little dots. Wow, lots of little dots. Little plastic amber ish looking dots. Oh no. <sighs> There are water beads, the kind you put in your vases. Wow, okay, they're all over in the packaging. They're everywhere. Okay, um, I'm just going to set that there. Oops, there's another one on my finger. Try to make sure there's nothing on the plastic here. And as I was saying, this is another decorative pillow cover. Try to 
try not to spread the beads all over. And, oh, I really like this one. And it is, like the others, really soft. Well, maybe that lint roller is going to come and use to pick up all those little water beads. And then only three more items in here. This is a pair of warm fuzzy socks for winter coming up. That's supposed to go on my feet. This is supposed to be adult sized. I'm not seeing much adult in that. But, you know, there's only one way to test it. You gotta try it on, right? So let's see what happens. And on the inside is kind of a blocking. Let's see if you can get see that. Oh yeah, this is probably never going to make my foot. So let's see it surprise me. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. They stretch really well, people. Let's see if I can Get my foot that high up. Oh my goodness, oh my soul. All right, see, it actually got on. All right. Well, I am shocked and I'm happy, I'm pleased. There's not many things I can get on my big fat swollen feet. And another package that has been crushed. PVC is what it says on it. So this box looks like it's been through worse than Ace Ventura. Luckily, the items inside aren't that damageable. They're just crushed a little bit. But these are different cacti. And succulent plants. And it looks like it comes with two of each. This one has uh, floral tape on it. This one doesn't. And there's, oops, a couple of these. couple of these. That fell out of a little bag. So there are three of these. Try to get them up a little closer, maybe. Okay, not sure if I saw that one go through. But there's only one of those. A 
And there are two of these. There are three of these. <clears throat> and two of these. know what that is on there. Alright, and the last item is another Halloween item. And which, yeah, I'm kind of really not happy with how this came in. It's almost as if when these are repackaged, or maybe even packaged from China, that somebody doesn't like Timu or something like that, and has decided that all items coming through them. Oh, wow. need to arrive in a damaged um, way. It's a good thing that's got wire in it that it can be bent back up properly. Straightened out, I should say. And then, of course, the sunflower head is a skull. And yes, plastic. Now, I might deconstruct this and do a mold of this face and do it in polyurethane resin, maybe? Okay. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot what's on the side over here. Sorry, guys. Let me see. Get that put on there. Kind of make it look like a sad sack. All right. Um, then I do have what's known as nail glitter or just, or just glitter. Anyways, maple leaves. Um, I won't take a bunch of them out because we know where they'll end up. The floor and everywhere else. And they are holographic. Try to spread them out on my hand just a little bit. All right, that's that color. And because, uh, yeah, it just says maple leaves and it says number six is the color, so. And then I purchased three of these because of autumn. And I'm glad they're here because I have a project um, that I've been getting ready, waiting for them, so I'll be able to do that project soon. And, whoops. I saw that one slide. Okay. Open my finger up, let that one fall back in first. 
All right, before I forget, uh, I was contacted through the comments that my email wasn't working for them. Now, I have actually emailed myself from my other account, my personal account, and I've had no problem with it, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a problem with it. Uh, so what I can suggest to do is I did uh, put on that video, which is um, the one directly after the giveaway video announcement and rules. <clears throat> I did put my email in the description and I do suggest that you go ahead and c copy and paste uh, for your uh, ability to email me just in case the other way does not work. My email is in my about and it, sh and it has a little thing hidden over it or whatever but you tap on that and it says reveal email or whatever and you tap on that and it shows the email come up. Um, so yeah, you're gonna need to maybe check. Let me know if the email is working for you or not. <clears throat> because of course one of the uh, stipulations uh, for, the con uh, for the giveaway is that the winner or winners there will now be three winners, one for each of the three prizes, um, that they have to contact me within three days of me posting the video for the winner, which will be tomorrow. So you will have three days after tomorrow. So that tomorrow's the 27th, so 28th, 29th, 30th to get emailed into. Um, yeah, that was the other thing. Um, also, there are uh, some people that have their um, their YouTube account set where I cannot see uh, if they are a subscriber. And so anybody that's got that issue, you should change that really quick because this is Saturday um, today I go through and I get the names of all the people that have put in for the giveaway. And I will not include anyone that does not have the uh, ability for me to see if you're subscribed. So you might want to check your uh, um, accounts if you have entered for the giveaway or if you choose to enter for the giveaway and get that setting um, taken care of. Uh, all right, uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate you considering doing so. If you do, hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. I got that this time, whoa. Um, also, uh, comment, um, let me know in the comments if you've tried emailing me and it's not working so that I can um, give an alternate email. I will create one just for that. Um, I might call it Marcy's Artsy Fartsy Giveaways. <clears throat> but please let me know if it's working or not. Uh, I really don't want to have to check a zillion email accounts. Um, so if it's working, let me know. If it's not, please let me know. And I will give an alternative. Um, and of course, share. Um, if you think people like what's in the Timu stuff. Um, or any of my painting or uh, resin projects or anything like that. Um, you guys have been great. I thank you for all my subscribers and my viewers. I know that some people come back and they view some of my things, but <clears throat> they don't um, subscribe, which is okay, I guess. You know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not looking to become monetized. The only way I would look to become monetized is if um, something horrible were to happen, like my husband were to die or something, and our income would be gone at that point. 
my income would be gone at that point. My husband would be gone at that point. So, um, or some other uh, unnatural type of disasters were to go on, you know, like being forced out of your job because of things. Anyways, um, so anyway, yeah, uh, peace out, everybody. Okay, I'm just going to add this on to the end of the video. Um, there are 18 of these. There are 15 of these and 15 of these. These are the size differences. Six maple leaves, six pumpkins, and those are the um, additives for when you get the water beads um, soaked and swollen. Those are the water beads. I did find the uh, escapee part. It was on this side right here. And I spent a good hour tracking down the beads because see, you cannot get those down your water drains. Uh, you cannot allow an animal to um, eat them and or children if you have children and this is the amount of beads that i was able to track down between what was still in the package and what was all over my desk here as you can tell there's a lot of these and when they get swollen they can cause a lot of damage in the belly um, and they can clog up your water pipes and I'll show you what I mean in a future video. I just wanted to get that out there so that you all know, um, please be careful when these things are, uh, oh wow, I just found another bead. Wow. Okay. So there's another one. We'll get that in the bag. Um, I think I'll be finding them for days, but yes. You do want to physically track down all the beads. And I just found another one. Oh, my goodness. I guess the lighting changed a little bit in here. So, um, anyway, get them all tracked down. You can vacuum them up. That's awesome. If you don't mind losing that many water beads, that would uh, detract from what you can put in a vase. Uh... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Take care. Peace out.